The Temple of Imperial Concubine Wai Lane located in Dongxi Commune, Gilam District, Hanoi, is one of the temples worshipping the Imperial Concubine Wai Lane. She is one of the prominent women in the history of Vietnam, who was two times Regency and has many contributions to the country. late 11th century in the royal architectural style of Lyraine. This temple not only is the largest temple worshipping the imperial concubine Wai Lane, but also is ranked the oldest temple in Vietnam. The history has it that King Lai Tai Tong was unable to have his own son. Up to the age of 40, therefore, he paid visit to Dao Pagoda. In back nine to pray for a child. Knew the news, the villages held. The festival to welcome the king. The escort of the king attracted the attention. Of people. When he passed the Tulwa village, from a distance. He saw a girl of common her origin leaning on an orchid tree and paid no curiosity to the escort of the king like others. The king went to ask the reason. The girl was pretty, smart and gentle. He loved and decided to choose this girl as his imperial concubine. He took the image of the first meet as the title of imperial concubine. So the contemporaries and posterity called her as Imperial Concubine Wai Lane. Unlike other wives of the king, Wai Lane did not take the sumptuous beauty to ingratiate herself with the king, she paid special attention to the work of the court. She spent much time to follow the state affairs, read books. So just a short time, Wai Lane had profound knowledge in many aspects. Courtiers respected her as a talented person. In 
1069, King Livantong personally led a military against the Champa Kingdom and left the regentship for Wailane. In the same year, Diviet was unfortunately flood, wiped out crops, hungry people rimbelled in many places. This was a big challenge for the female regent, but thanks to the strategic ability, Wailane assumed the responsibility for the work of the country. She proposed the right, assertive and daring measures, so the disturbances were soon quelled. Starving people were rescued. To respect her grace and also express the devotion to a talented woman, Diviet people honored her as Ganyan Bodhisattva. After an unsuccessful period of attack, King Livantong worries about the work of the country and want to abandon the campaign. When hearing under the regency of Wailane, the country overcome difficulties, kept the prosperous peace. The king felt shy, he continued to carry on his campaign and determined to defeat the enemy. In 1077, when Tong Dynasty invaded our country, with the complete control over the court, Wai Lane mobilized the whole nation into the battle, giving for the country strong enough to defeat the enemy. Empress Mother Wai Lane not only enforced measures to build country, reassure the people making the country more powerful, but she also cared for the expansion of intellectual standards, exam and studying. She issued many progressive policies as slave redemption, reduction tax and prohibiting people from killing buffaloes. At the peak position, Wailane did not forget the plight of the poor woman who was living the life worse than her childhood. According to the history book, in 1103, Wailing granted money in the internal storage of government to redeem the poor girls who had to sell themselves out, married them for the widowers, understanding and interesting the Buddhism. The Empress Mother Wailing built hundreds of pagodas, thanks to the story between her and monks in the Lai dynasty, we currently know the origin of the Buddhism in Vietnam. To thank her high grace, contemporary people honored her as Ganyan Bodhisattva. Being an intellectual and virtue woman and getting the support of Lai Thong Kyat, Wai Lane had positive contribution to the Lai inheritance. She is one of the great persons having the excellent talent of Vietnam. An outstanding woman of the Vietnam history. She died on July 25, 1117, at the age of 74. She was cremated and given the posthumous name Empress Mother Pudan Lai Nin. Buried in Tulan, Thien Duc, the native land of the Lai dynasty. Imperial concubine Wailing is a famous woman of Vietnam in general and her hometown in particular. I myself was a local people, the hometown of Imperial concubine Wailin. I am very proud and encourage children how to preserve the identity and heritage values of the relic and bring attention to build 
renovate and make the relic more spacious and worthy of her merits. The temple has the Lias royal architecture, especially the temple has 72 doors. In the right of the temple is Lian Nan Chu Fak Chu built by Empress Mother Wai Lane along with hundreds of other pagodas. This temple was inaugurated in March 1115. The temple and pagoda currently store many precious ancient treasures as two stone lions, four stone stills in the later dynasty, five horizontal lacquered paintings, two parallel sentiments praising the virtues of Wai Lane. As the place or Shiping Imperial Concubine Wai Lane. The relic population includes temple, pagoda, shrine located within the campus. Having the yard, the house, the green trees with the width of three hectares. Located on the left side, in front of the temple are the stone dragons with sophisticated carved lines.
after nearly nine centuries, in the temple and pagoda of Beatame still keep many rare and worth treasures in terms of unique architecture and sculpture of Vietnam. For example, three tame the statues sitting on the head of two lions. That has the height of four meters and was carved elaborately. Two antiques of the Mac dynasty were caved flowers, dragon and phoenix. And a stone step was carved dragon of the Lai dynasty with 1.3 meters long and 0.8 meters high. Among the artifacts left, the two carved stone lions are the most precious objects. They were carved from a hug stone block with 1.2 meters high and 1.36 meters wide lying prostrate. In terms of sculpture, their lines are soft and have impressive details such as bushy eyebrows, straight teeth, big fangs, thick legs, and sharp curved nails. Especially, their eyes are very large, protruding out, bringing the visitors the feel of the extraordinary power and hidden beauty that are both smooth, majestic and powerful of the Lord of Creatures. And like the lion image in other temples, the dragon in Wailing Temple was completely different. By the great sculpture, using multiple vignettes, the animal seemed to be still alive. Breathing and playing with the pearl, especially on the forehead of two lions were inscribed. The word the king to confirm the Lord position and protect our country. Two stone lions are not only the rare and precious ancient artifact in Vietnam, but also a great sculpture, great artistic value of the whole Southeast Asia. Right in front of the temple is parallel sentences indicated that the third Lai dynasty selected a beautiful, virtuous and talented woman. On the country, there are over 100 temples dedicated to Wai Lei. In the harem, there is the statues of imperial concubine Wai Lei and six female servants keeping six ministries in the court and helping Wai Lei. The outside hall, there are the altar and sun. On the altar is the ancestral tablet recording. The third empress mother of the Lai dynasty. Through restorations, the largest restoration was in 1612, but now the temple still keeps its beauty with the architecture of the Lai culture. It brings both the profound historical significance and high art value. This is really a unique and rare work of Vietnam. Imperial concubine Wai Lane is the talented woman of the nation. She is accredited with giving birth King Lin and Dong. A talented king reigning 56 years, the longest training monarch in the history of Vietnam. She along with Lai Thong Kiat, Lai Do Dan defeated Dong troops. In addition, she and venerable, monks and nuns, Buddhists built hundreds of pagodas. And the valuable historical relics. Every year, visitors come here to visit the monument. And worship Imperial Concubine Wai Lane, the Heritage Manage Board. Hold the guides to introduce for visitors about her biography, career and merit. Merit.
from February 19 to 21 in the lunar calendar every year, local people hold the traditional festivals to commemorate this talented woman. In addition to the ceremony, there are folk games such as human chess, cockfighting, wrestle. In 2010, along with the anniversary of 1,000 years Thang Long Hanoi, the temple was restored and renovated, especially, the statue of the Empress Mother Wai Lei was built right in the center front of the temple. The statue is made of copper with a height of 9.1 meter and weight of 25 tons. Behind the statue, is the Stunba's nearly 32 meters long described her career. Is really a unique work of art and worthy her talent, virtue and merits. Temple is not only a valuable historical relic but also a tourist attraction. Of Vietnam for domestic and international tourists.